All right, up next we have Scorpio rising and sun. For you guys, this Gemini new moon is happening on June 6th in your eighth house. And usually when I see like something going on in the eighth house, it doesn't always give like the best energy because the eighth house tends to be where we have more stored trauma. It is the house of crisis and death and debt. So usually it's not the best, but I'm pulling really good cards for you guys. And so how I'm seeing this, because this is a new moon in Gemini, it's very social and it's also conjunct Venus, a planet of love. And the eighth house is a lot about union and coming together with someone, intimacy, a bond with someone, even like sexual intimacy. I definitely feel like this is a good time for relationships and emotional fulfillment with another person. Um, I definitely see that again with these cards with the lovers and the ten of cups. So something that is very emotionally fulfilling for you, like meeting your other half. If you are not, if you are already in a relationship, this is like a deepening of the connection. Um, it's not all positive. We're going to get into the challenges, but it's a, a huge like deepening of the connection um, and improvement just overall in the happiness and emotional fulfillment of the, the bond. And if this is a new relationship, this is meeting like a soulmate, even if that is a friend, it doesn't have to be a romantic partnership, but it's some kind of soulmate energy where you're really fulfilled by the people in your life um, and they're like a match for you. When I pulled a clarifier for the Ten of Cups, I got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is someone that you could start a family with or be friends with for a really, really long time. Um, and this could also be like finding some kind of job opportunity as well. If this isn't about a person, for many of you, it might be about a job. Um, and if that is the case, I think it's something that is going to earn you a lot of money and really fulfill you emotionally and feel like a soulmate type of position. Like this job was meant for me. I was destined for this. And again, I think it's going to last you a long time, whatever position this is because of the 10 of pentacles. So whether it's a connection or a job, it's something long lasting and very fulfilling and equally gratifying with the six of pentacles. Like somebody who meets you halfway, a job that like both pays you and fulfills you and they respect you and honor your position it's this meeting of the minds meeting of equal energy feeling like you have so much that you can even give to others feeling like you are overflowing with like generosity and care and love um so it feels like a really positive time for you guys one of the reasons why i think it is so positive is because this is a midpoint in the venus cycle because the sun and Venus are together at this time. And that first started happening, like the journey of sun and Venus together first started happening in August of 2023. So there's some connection between then and now where something is kind of coming to fruition or a milestone is being laid, um, like some kind of progress is being made from something that you thought about or considered or started implementing back in August, especially career-wise, because the sun and Venus first met up in Leo in your career sector, and now it's meeting up in your eighth house. So um, I feel like there's either this is a job that's going to help you pay off debt and really get you ahead, or it's something that's really going to increase your confidence or it's a relationship that's going to feel like you're meeting your match. You're going to feel really connected to them. But overall, it seems really positive in that sense. One of the things that's negative about this new moon is that it squares Saturn in your fifth house. So I do feel like there's something here around um, limitations. So it's like Saturn in the fifth, usually the fifth house is all about joy and fun and play and like really focusing on lighthearted childlike nature with this new moon being in the eighth house this is it has a little bit more of like a seriousness to it and so the square with saturn can bring up challenges around your inner child and around your like authentic expression and unbridled joy and how that translates into the connection or the job you might have some self-doubt you might have some like uncertainty about vulnerability at first like some things that you kind of have to work through um, maybe you 
don't feel as confident about something, you know, in terms, if you're dating, for example, maybe you don't feel as confident about something, um, you know, when you're dating, maybe you overthink things in some way or you, um, you know, you like don't know. Um, yeah, I think it's just about confidence, really. Confidence in any area. I think you can kind of fill in your own gaps of examples, but there's just something where I feel like confidence could kind of come into play where that is like a little bit of a hurdle to be overcome, but I don't really see that being an issue for you guys ultimately. Mercury and Jupiter are together here in your eighth in Gemini. And so I think you're really having a strong mind in the sense that you're able to work through a lot of what's going on. You're able to kind of analyze yourself, dig deeper, question things and see, okay, maybe this is why I have doubt and like here's where I can do the work so that you're not actually getting stuck on anything. So it feels like you are able to transmute and transform a lot of this energy and not, again, not get anything stuck in the process. Um, one of the messages is also that I feel like you are working towards something that maybe you set the vision out um, back in August of 2023 when the sun and Venus came together in your 10th house. You could have created some kind of vision like I see myself with this kind of partner. I see myself at this kind of job making this kind of money or even just energetically of like I want to feel this way. I feel like you're actually having some kind of milestone to step towards that vision at this point in time which is really exciting. You might also find that you're quite psychic, especially with these two owls on, on this card. Um, eighth house energy is very, very intuitive. So again, I feel like you guys might just be able to pick up on a lot of things that maybe you always are good at picking up on because you are a Scorpio, but I think it's heightened during this time. One of the other challenges of this new moon is Mars and Chiron and Aries in your sixth house squaring Pluto in your fourth house. I kind of want to pull some a card on this. So... Um, any energy around Mars square Pluto? Five of Wands in reverse, Wheel of Fortune reverse. So the Five of Wands um, and the Wheel of Fortune, this can represent like needing to get over something from the past, something maybe that didn't work out quite well um, or doesn't have to be, it could be something with work, um, it could be something from family there. It just, it feels like there might be some kind of like cycle that's gone on in your life that you're wanting to like move past. You're not wanting to get tangled up in it again. And this Mars square Pluto, I think in some ways could bring that back up. But ultimately I feel like it's trying to bring it up for you to move past it. So if you are lacking confidence in any way, like spot where that's coming from and notice if that's a pattern in other areas of your life or from past events, because I'm noticing that there's some cycle here that has been going on and I do feel like it's familial related, like childhood related. So I think that there's some kind of cycle that you don't want to become entangled in emotionally and it's important to, um, to main, like to remain devoted to yourself. I literally pulled these two cards for advice. The first one says, she who remains powerful devotion and true worth. So I feel like you're, part of your advice is to just keep going, like remain consistent, even if you have doubt. You are more powerful and you are more worthy than you realize. And I think you'll come to more of that understanding as a result of remaining in whatever this is. The other is she who calms, stillness, purity, and quiet. So if you start to feel anxiety or uncertainty or overthinking, or if you start to feel like you're getting trapped in that cycle like before, I honestly feel like stillness is one of the answers here because Gemini does tend to overdo things, especially like stimula stimulation wise, like it, it will over plan, consume too much content. I know because I'm a Gemini. Um, it's just like you're just always thinking, right? You're always trying to do shit. And I think that this card ultimately is talking about quieting the mind, calming your schedule, like having less going on so that you can just turn, uh, turn it off for a second and not have to like fight it. Like you don't need to, I kind of got the imagery of like those Chinese finger traps. It's like, if you keep trying to pull yourself out of this, this thought pattern, the situation and forcing it, it's like you're resisting it more and, and creating more of a difficulty when in reality, if you just like 
relax a little bit and just stop thinking so much and just uh, and just did nothing for a minute then it would allow yourself to calm your your nervous system enough to realize that you were just overthinking and it wasn't reality so that's basically my message to you guys i hope that resonates if so i'd love to hear any comments from you down below um if you want a reading from me or if you want to subscribe to my email list so you don't miss out on any of these videos you can check both of those links out in the description box down below don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe share with your friends and have a beautiful day bye